Right, here's a picture I took earlier um, when we looked at composition. And the first thing I'm going to do with this picture before I start making it look, giving it a vintage feel rather, is to duplicate the background layer and drag the background layer down onto the new layer button to duplicate it. And then if you hold down Command and T together or Control and T in a PC, you can straighten all the lines out so that you have no converging lines. Select the crop button and give it a crop to get rid of the untidy edges. And as you can see here, while I'm cropping, the third line is right down the middle of the wine bottle. Image crop. I'm using Photoshop Elements, uh, Photoshop rather, but you can do the same on Photoshop Elements. So the first thing I'm going to do is to give it a um, black and white feel and then reduce the opacity of that. So click on the Any Adjustment Layer button and select black and white. And once you've made it black and white, you can adjust the tones of the black and white to give it a little more punch. That's it. I'm going to do it like that and then I'm going to reduce the opacity to about there. And then I'm going to use a curves layer. So New adjustment layer button, curves, and I'm going to do two things. I'm going to look at the blues. I'm going to put more blues into the shadows. I'm going to do that by dragging down the top and bringing up the button, bottom rather. And then I'm going to look at the red and give it a tiny bit more red so it has a pinkier feel to it. There you go. I'm going to create a vignette. I'm going to do that simply by creating a new blank layer and then picking a large soft black brush and then simply painting around the edges with the black brush. As you could see, my computer froze for a minute there. So I'm just going to grab the eraser tool, make it much bigger, and just get rid of those bits. Oops. Undo. And I'm going to make it 0% hard. So we get those kind of soft edges. I'm then going to put this into overlay mode and reduce the opacity quite a lot about there I think so the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a texture layer on top I have a texture layer down here that I've downloaded from DeviantArt I'm simply going to drag that across onto the picture click yes and then hold down command and press T so that you can adjust the size of your texture layer. There you go, press enter to accept and then put that into either overlay or soft light mode and reduce the opacity so that all you get I've changed the, the um, vignette layer to be darkened because I feel that that suits the picture better. So the last thing we're going to do is once you feel that you've got the, the right amount of texture in your picture, is to create a merge layer of everything. That's Command, Alt, Shift and E all together and you'll get a merged layer of everything. I'm going to sharpen, I'm going to go to filter, sharpen, unsharp mask, and I'm going to keep the radius at one, threshold zero, and sharpen about 130. And save. Thank you very much.